So, hello and welcome to another special episode in the series of videos where I document my quest to model the automation game world in the game Transport Fever 2. So the year is 2016, so that's the end of the build phase and uh, across these different special episodes I'm going to show uh, most parts of the world to different means. Uh, so we have car rides, we have train rides, so we have flyovers and today we'll have a mix. And that mix will take us al along all the coastlines. So we start at the southeastern uh, coastline of Vianta. And then uh, we go uh, once throughout a map. So we will start in Ocha and we'll go, yeah, probably back to uh, Ocha then um, after going the, around the entire coastline of the entire main continent. And as fate will have it, uh, here is our train. So that's a rail bus. Uh, uh, look, notice it's still the old uh, train station style and it's the old rail bus from um, Bad Neusund uh, to Wilburg. And now we start here in Ocea, so uh, Vianta. And Vianta is all coast, so we take this train line, as, which is the only means to get across the coast. Then east towards Portaminta. So here we see Ocea also has grown past this uh, train line. And we're picking up speed, but not too much, since these old rail buses are not the fastest. So I kept Vianta basically one generation behind in terms of technology, so I didn't upgrade the stations. I didn't upgrade the tracks, because the uh, rail bus can do 90 anyway. They have the Isuzu Elves that, that you can see here, but they are from 67 in-game. Um, so that's uh, still valid for one generation past. It's the sort of final evolution of these small uh, city delivery uh, trucks. And otherwise, yeah, see lots of coast. And then we will go clockwise around the entire map by train and by bus. So it will be a bit of a mix. And it might take a while, but you can always use the chapters in the YouTube video to uh, go back and forth uh, to areas of the world that uh, interest you or skip them to the to the next uh, switch of vehicles but otherwise yeah so a lot of landscape nothing uh, much to see here in the wilderness of Vienta so we're getting past the farm and here is a port that takes uh, I think the grain and also logs uh, to the east so I think Adesia and Fuenia are uh, supplied by uh, these ships. So farm to the lift. One of the very few remaining uh, railway crossings on the map that don't have a barrier. Here's the logging operation that also uh, is connected to the port. We even see some sparse vehicle traffic um, between cities. So the, the big limitation is here in terms of how uh, the gameplay mechanics work. So the citizens, uh, the sims, are looking for public transport connections, which of which there are plenty, and of car transport connections, where that's only between Portaminta and Ocha. So there is no bridge back to, uh, to the to the mainland, and so that that limits uh, the extent of car traffic and two cities aren't that much to provide traffic back and forth, so roads are basically empty here. But we already see Portaminta, and at the distance that's the Hedvigian Alps. To the right that's just the branch here going to the depot, and we yeah, enter Portaminta, the city, also the train station of the second generation. And we see a couple of people waiting, wanting to go back to Ocha. We exit. Once we've come to a halt, and we take the bus to the port, and I think from where things are, it doesn't really matter which one. So let's take them to the next that comes, and that's this one. So Porta uh, Bianta belongs to Gesmia, so that's why they got the last generation uh, buses. So see plenty of people exiting here for the station. Uh, the last generation buses, so one a Chevrolet C60. Again, it, it doesn't really matter, because all they do is drive around in the city and do 50, uh, at best. 
There's the counterpart. Just so a glimpse of. Also, that's the slow uh, inner city roads. This is limited to 30. Yes. I didn't upgrade the, the roads here. So all to indicate this, yeah, Vianta is a bit off the uh, main main interest and changes were maybe a little bit slower here. But they have something almost unique and we see plenty of people waiting here actually. That's, that's interesting. Also still the old bus stop style from the 1800s, but that's more a matter of fact that these don't auto upgrade. So bus is full actually. So many people want to go to the port, where I think we stop next. Because that's the only means to escape the island. We got some decently high nice buildings here. All thanks to the third generation of buildings. And there we see the other bus, so they basically run at identical speed around. <coughs> so here is the port. Cargo port to the left, passenger port to the right. We want to go to the right one, Let's exit the bus. And th there is a hovercraft which goes to Lawson, perfect. So we jump on it, barely make it. So that's one of the cool things in Vianza. They have hovercrafts uh, connecting Vianza not only to Gazmia, that's the nearest one, as we see a plane l launching from Berlau Airport. <coughs> But also going to Vianta, uh, to uh, Fruinia, so where Vianta has belonged to historically, and these hovercrafts which go somewhere in the 80s, I think, at, at top speed, or even in, in the 90s, they make that viable. So whether people use any vehicle, just, not just ships, depends on its speed, and um, speed determines uh, the um, extent of the destination, the, the the max distance, so they would only board horse carriages, for instance, and yeah, ships pass through each other. There is no collision detection. That's a bit unfortunate, but I can't help that. So they would only board horse carriages or, or ships, for that matter. That only can can go 20-ish uh, for a rather close uh, destination. So they would go from Vianta to Gesmia on ships, but not that many. But they wouldn't go at all from Yanta to Farinia, whereas on hovercrafts they do. So we're approaching Gesmia. So we have the Lost and Clearest uh, oil refinery on the left. So that's where the nice, uh, healthy black smoke comes from. Comes from, and we should see uh, ships doing a nice belay to pass under the bridge. And we see Lost and Clearest ahead. So now we're at the Gesmian coast. And yeah, we have to pass through this ship lane. This is all a bit awkward, but ship ship pathing is not uh, the biggest fortune uh, either. Here we see a tanker tow um, boat that goes be between the oil refinery uh, that's uh, there and um, Harford uh, port, where is uh, gets then loaded uh, on trains to go to the fuel. A refinery near Ellisbury or to the plastics factory near Midbury. We have arrived now at the port. So now we have to take a tram uh, to the train station. So there is there is a tram already approaching, so we wait for that. So Lawson is the I think the only non capital. And there's the other tram, but I think we wait for the um, one that's currently on the left because that's uh, I think has the shorter distance to the train station. I think Lawson is the only city on the map that is not a capital that has trams. Here it made sense. I think they're actually running two because uh, that's the only per uh, line. Just think that's one of these small U.S.-based trams. One isn't enough to cope with all the people who want to go uh, between the train station and the port. Autosave is on, uh, as usual in, in these uh, videos, because I don't switch it off, just in case uh, when I'm building something, I screw something up, I can reload and autosave. So, 
tram is there and yeah as you can see people coming uh, from the port and wanting to enter the tram and we'll do the same it's not that full but I think I had to add a second tram because it was uh, running uh, full we see a house being built in record time next to us so that's uh, uh, how uh, cities grow and it's always a bit of a up and down uh, depending on supply because supplies are usually delivered in in bulk especially on ships it's a bit more nuanced if you have trucks uh, then you just get uh, smaller increases in cargo but if there are ships docking that deliver uh, supplies then uh, you always have these boom times for city growth which depends on cargo supply when a ship has just unloaded and then uh, when, when the our supplies run low, before, just before the next ship comes, uh, the city goes into a bus cycle and may even shrink. Yeah, so you see more uh, tram traffic, so that's why when we go through cities you sometimes uh, see houses being built or even uh, demolished. Uh, so that's um, the a reverse animation that's uh, simply um, dynamited to the ground, uh, leaving just a few smokes of dust. So, do we run them over? No, so that, oh, yeah, sort of. Uh, but that's always an oddity. So that's a train going to Karlstadt, which we w I would jump on if we were to uh, go counterclockwise. Uh, but we do not. We go clockwise. So I let that train uh, go out. That's the old high-speed train that was running between Harford and um, Karlstadt, uh, Berlau. And now it's uh, doing... It's it's duty just between Lawson and Karlstadt. Another building being built uh, quickly, and then we have to wait for the commuter train that will take us uh, towards the eastern uh, coast of Gazmia, and that might take a while because this was just here. No, yeah, this is just coming. I suspect the train is just here. Uh, come, yeah, there it is. Uh, so we have to wait a fair while. There's only one running. Uh, so we simply wait here till we the train arrives. So there is our train. We have to wait a fair while. As, as I said, there's only one train running uh, on this uh, track. It's a bit longer, but that's it. So all the alternatives with the high-speed trains uh, going to Vilburg and going to Leningrad and the planes going everywhere. Uh, it's not that attractive anymore that I could run two of uh, these with three uh, passenger cars. So then let's hop onto that. The one is uh, sufficient, which is a bit longer. And we're now moving further east from Lost and Claris to Penya, which is the terminal station for this train line. And then we hop onto a bus that will take us uh, along... Um, the rest of the coast. So there, behind that a refinery, there's the coastline, and the mountains we see there, that's Vienta. But there is no uh, public transport on the northern side of Vienta. It's all, all mountain. There is a road, but uh, uh, running a bus and a train on Vienta doesn't make sense, because uh, then both basically are almost, almost empty. This track, I think, in the past had been... Uh, a double track and this has been now reduced to one because there's only one train running so they would have reduced the train service in the outskirts so here's the food factory in, in Pena and that's its port and ships are waiting one may have just left with uh, either empty with grain for sand basalt or full with bread for the entire east coast so here we are in Pena as you can see plenty of people waiting they're all coming from the north coast uh, from from the east coast and want to go somewhere and that's their only chance and at least they splurge for some new platform uh, but it's still the old train station uh, so then we exit and go to the bus stop and there is a bus arriving. Is this the local bus or is this the Eastern Connection? That's the local. That's actually quite full. Uh, so then we wait for the 
eastern connection, which will be a fair, a fair while, so more waiting time. So, while we see an MRN track using the other bus stop to turn around, we see one bus of the, north of the eastern connection uh, arriving. At the western connection, yeah, so not the eastern connection. I think you mentally have now to replace every time I said east with west in the past minutes. Uh, anyway, so that one is almost full and there are also plenty of people waiting, but that's simply because uh, that's the first bus uh, after a train arrived, so uh, let's hop on. And I think that's something we haven't seen before, so I think I'm not sure any past video had been in Pena. And I'm pretty positive I haven't uh, shown the west coast at all. So, high time to do that. So next stop is then the next city north from here, Menwin. Or Menwin, or however you would uh, pronounce that, if that would be a Welsh-inspired city? Question mark? I don't know Welsh, uh, so I wouldn't know whether this is just an imitation of the letters or whether this actually means something in, in, in uh, Welsh. So here th through Peña, if you want winners, you're covered. There you can directly go from the gym to have winners or a walk. So, all about the balance, I guess. So, there's another West Coast uh, bus. So, there are, are a couple running here, connecting all the cities on the West Coast. And here you see the ocean. And we're just cutting off a car. And then we're heading north along the coastline. The bus is full, but this is mostly level, so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal getting up to speed. So we now left the city area, so on these roads maximum is 80, but some corners might be a bit tighter in terms of radius, so might then do less. And I'm not sure why this is so sluggish. These buses usually have plenty of reserves, especially in this age. Maybe people are exceptionally heavy uh, at this point, I don't know. But now we reach top speed, so that's fine. So here we see also ship traffic here along the west uh, coast. That's probably going... No, that, that looks like uh, a road that was um, sp spawned from one of the cities. Here we see a dump truck bringing ore or coal. So here in these mountains on the right, the highlands, there we see that's an ore or coal mine. So there are some mining operations, and we have reached Benwin. So now we're entering city limits, as indicated by the sidewalk. Plenty of rivers here as well. And we're heading to the central bus stop here. It was mainly due to the terrain that here are no train lines. I would have to basically cut all the cities in half and then barely have space. So there is no uh, train uh, lines or train tracks at all on the west coast. It looks like the local bus. So we have to go somewhere in the middle of the city. And these spots for these 
bus stops that's all dating back to when there were horse carriages so as you can see the old style uh, so this probably exists uh, still 18 or since 1855 or so and looks the same please don't auto update so one stop here is for a local bus one for the northbound the other one for the southbound uh, bus connection So we see people entering, see people leaving, and we see autosave. The big brick building on the left is that's a, the, a depot for vehicles and every second city has one dating back to the horse carriages which would have otherwise taken ages to go from one city to the next i could probably not now delete most of them but yeah with uh, the amount of uh, money that's uh, going in and coming out this is not even uh, chump change what these depots cost per week or per month more ships and we're heading for the north towards Eastport. Because of course Eastport is on the west coast. But there is also Westport on the west coast. So that makes a lot of sense. So one of the inner city deliveries with the Isuzu Elf. And an Emma and truck also delivering stuff. And that's uh, then probably coming from a bit further back. So always use these Isuzus if uh, there isn't that much um, highway. Whereas the Emma and trucks uh, then usually for longer distance over highways because the Isuzus can theoretically hit 80 but don't, especially if, if they're full. Whereas the Emma and trucks do, even if they're full. On these winding roads it probably wouldn't matter. Here the speed is then simply limited by the radius. So this is this is Westport. It has only the this coal mine. Uh, there was no space for a city, and maybe that's then the dominant feature of the city of Westport. And here ahead we have the city of Eastport, which lies slightly east of Westport, and it has been the more dominant port. So e so Westport has its own port for the coal mine, which we yeah can see there in the distance. And then Eastport has a bigger port uh, that we will cross now, actually. So we can look at that. Not sure why this bus is so slow. It's even half full, and these have usually plenty of power. So if we look down to the right, we see the port with uh, a number of terminals, and there's a bricks factory behind it. And the stone actually comes from the other side of Gizmia, from Montelares, simply because that was the last uh, bricks factory to connect, and all other uh, stone quarries were more convenient for the other bricks factory, so that was simply the last thing to do. And it goes by train from, oh, first goes by ship from Montelares to Vilburg, and by train from Vilburg to Vinot le Bay, and then by ship from Vinot to here via Picton, I think. So that's one of the more convoluted uh, lines. And again, we have to make our way into the middle of the city, uh, where the old uh, horse carriage uh, stop war. There, there it is. And we see Eastport has actually grown nicely to the hills. So that's the limitations of the terrain here on the map. So it could. It could now be called High Port, but there's also a High Port on the map, which we also see on the north coast. It's 
so I suspect we turn left and around and that will be the stop. No? No. Okay. Then this is the bus stop. I've I've never looked at these these adverts. That's a funny advert. So the the the, the, the a translation would be uh, incline, no problem, and then with the picture of the beetle. So that's that's funny. Um, but there are all these small Easter egg jokes if you look close enough onto these these uh, adverts uh, here. Yeah, and don't don't uh, ignore that we run over people. That's yeah, the limitations of the of the engine. Sometimes they stop, sometimes they don't. It was worse in older game versions, so that has improved over the years. But yeah, we still run over people. That's unfortunate. So here we get even a little bit of a traffic jam. So we now that uh, is the time when car ownership is at its highest rate uh, among the Sims. And with here are only buses going back and forth, uh, more people have cars or use the cars to go somewhere. And that's why we see actually some traffic here on the roads, whereas uh, some of the wide roads close to the bigger cities on the inside are actually quite quite empty. One dump truck, probably getting ore. But yeah, this is I think the mountain pass uh, towards Harford and uh, there is an ore mine up there. Yes, that's a truck coming from, or going now, going empty back to Harford. I think delivering goods here for some city, and it's the only city on the west coast needing goods. So that's why I simply sent a truck. These are actually quite viable. They fit something like 40 units or so, so uh, pretty pretty big. And three of them, even over bigger distances across mountain ridges and whatnot, uh, can nicely supply a city. So now we're heading to Casmouth, so a city at the mouth of the uh, River Cass, which we'll which we will cross. One more dump truck that goes uh, through the city and dumps uh, the ore at the port facilities that we see at 11 o'clock. And again, 50 city limits. Here we cross the River Cass. And we see another counterpart, West Coast bus, plying its trade. And the new Suzu Elf. Luckily empty, otherwise it might even struggle at 40 or 50 in the city, but doesn't matter anyway. We go to the bus station. These stops are only for the inner city buses or for the overland buses. I'm always uh, using these proper stops so that I can see how many people are waiting in each direction, otherwise, all will be waiting at the same stop and then these. City bus stop sh shelters have a thing a limit of 30, whereas here I have then uh, more than that, easily more than that uh, with these, these extended stops. And here again a style from the 1800s. Bus is nicely full, almost full, so a little bit of spare capacity, but not too much. And do we stop? No, of course not. So 
So now we're going to turn east. Northeast, Barren Hill. That will be the final stop for a bus ride and then we finally back into trains again. Narrowly missing a dump truck. And approaching city limits, so another glimpse from close up at the port facility. So, here ore and coal is being shipped uh, around the map to Erkhausen, I think. So, in uh, the, the very eastern side of Gesmia, near Rensweiler and Wilborg. So, and here bricks and food is being dropped off, and these uh, Isuzus only go when they're full. So back on the country road and back making an autosave. And one more west coast bus ahead. Some ships, not many. I think just those ore and coal ships uh, from Kasmarth to Wilburg. No, to Rensweiler. Or even Erkhausen might have, have its own port just to dump ore and coal. So getting up to 80. Let's hope we can stay there till we get to Baron Hill. Which is then here. Now we are at the um, northwestern tip of Gizmir. So we made it so far along the entire west coast, from south to north. Lone port here, I guess, for the grain from this farm. And we see one of the Easter eggs, an animal, a stag. I'm amazed that these still exist, because usually they run and die when they come close to roads or train lines, but apparently here isn't that much traffic. There's another one. So wildlife is still a thing on this map, but probably only on these. Uh, isolated areas. I don't know whether these respawn or whether they are all spawned in 1850 or whenever you start playing the game and then uh, they die or they live but they don't respawn. I don't know. So that's Baron Hill. So now we're moving east can't move any further north. So we got the right and I vaguely recall the last time we were here we could see the train station from here. Now we can't thanks to these uh, multi-story buildings. So here is the train station and the bus stop. Again it's kept the old building but has got some new platforms and that looks like a train just arrived earlier and unloaded all the people but let's see. At least there are two running here. Uh, two trains. So let's exit and see where we are in terms of trains. Nothing in sight, so more waiting one way or another. So there is our train. And as we can see, plenty of people have gathered here to board their train as well. So 
This is the only uh, way how to get from here to the east. And I think compared to the last time, I think it has gotten a new locomotive, which is a bit faster, and an extra um, carriage, which now barely fits this station, but I think that that's, that's fine. And then let's hop aboard. And let's uh, make our way along the north coast, at least before we turn south. But that's going to be a couple stations. So here are the old tracks, so top speed 120. But that doesn't matter since uh, there are, the stops are frequent and there are no curves that would benefit from. Uh, the high-speed trackers, either. Or hardly any, I think. Uh, so it's a bit, yeah, simu simulated uh, neglect of these outskirts areas. So that's uh, one uh, track was removed on the route to uh, Peña in the south, where we were. And here we still have uh, two trains, so we have to have the uh, two tracks. But they didn't modernize the tracks then. The next stop is High Port, which is a bit high, so this is an incline here, even if you don't really see that. And that's the, what are the, the High Port that I mentioned uh, a while before. So it is actually high and it is a port, so that makes sense. And as oftentimes the platforms are new, just the buildings are old, because they wouldn't bother rebuilding these. And technically they wouldn't need the two uh, through tracks, but I didn't know that when I built the stuff. Um, and it's always a pain to expand uh, a train stations, so that's why all these train stations look like that. Uh, they would be perfectly fine uh, without, because there is no cargo traffic here at all or no high-speed uh, train which would use those. But again, I didn't know that in... I'm not sure when I laid the tracks here, 1875 or 1885 or something. Um, then again, it was a pain, especially if the stations are in the middle of the cities, then to tear everything down and uh, add two tracks going through the middle. So then we have, yeah, a few stations are a bit too big uh, for their purpose. Some vehicle traffic on the north coast and some ship traffic as well. We can see in the distance that so this is uh, almost as busy as the south. The, the south coast has the uh, additional traffic of the all the tankers going between the Lua and Gasmia. Here is a uh, track that goes to the mi uh, middle of uh, West Gasmia, so Midbury Harford. That's new tracks. And we're approaching Hollymore, which is uh, the exchange. And there is a bear. And that probably won't be long for this for this world uh, after being run over by the train. Sorry about that. So ships are going to meet Bury. And here is a bit of a larger station. Uh, and the, the platform on the very right is the one where the uh, North-South connection stops, so Hollymore, Midbury, Harford, Springvale. And we stop here, and here we see pl probably we see plenty of people exiting uh, who want to go south to Harford and maybe fly somewhere. So that's the uh, closest uh, connection to an airport from up here. That's a nice 
of people exiting and now we get all those folks from the south who want to go uh, here on north coast which I think are a bit less than we had before. So next is CB and that's where we will leave the train because the train then goes south Durbridge Picton and we will stay on the coast and take the bus to Kirkstadt. So leaving the English speaking part of Gazmia and then to the Scandinavian part. Where I think we haven't been before because that's the only way to get there is by bus. I think this is the first bus ride. That's a, d a dedicated bus ride and not a quick means to get there. Here's our counterpart coming from CB. And probably equally full to the fourth carriage was added simply because they couldn't uh, um, take the last passengers away and they would stack up at CB or Durbridge depending on the direction. So here's the the Enns River that no sorry no that's that's just the farm the Enns River is uh, the next one was confused here by the by the port but that's uh, that's a depot and not, not port that's the main depot for the ships here in the north so that's CB and the river ends is after CB so we'll, we'll cross the river ends by bus Then let's exit and see where where does the bus stop actually here. So we'll take this is the local bus. I don't see any bus inside, so we can technically take the local bus from the train station to the other bus stop and not miss anything. So then we get a nice city tour through CB. So most cities have one bus running, only the, the bigger ones have maybe two, one clockwise, one counterclockwise, and the capitals at Lawson have trams instead of buses, some have, have, have an additional bus to the to the outskirts as well. So here is the tour through CB. Sometimes there are no people waiting, but then people want to leave, so that's, that's equally fine. And they they will be back at some point. So here is a side street, and that's an, an unload stop for a truck on the left. And a good view of a ship probably going to dock. They might be bringing bricks to here. So there is the port building, if you can hardly see, to the right on 2 o'clock, and this row of tiny industry buildings. So here is a truck stop on the lift. The tank truck is waiting, and this is the F is waiting, and the one or two units of tools are waiting. Hardly any traffic in these cities because there is uh, this this bus. Otherwise, people would be taking cars to somewhere. Another truck unload stop. There's a train station again, so we just made a round trip. 
but that's how these modern stations look from the outside. And we should be going, yeah, going right. And then make our way towards the bus stop here. I sometimes I've placed a few too many bus stops in the cities. But that doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't impede anything. It doesn't really matter. These buses, as you can see, are mostly empty anyway in these tiny cities. It's a bit overkill, but necessary, otherwise they... Some would maybe walk to the train stations, others wouldn't be connected to the train stations at all. And then they would use their cars and then uh, we would have m many more cars on the street. Okay, so that's the bus stop. So then we wait till the... There it is. We don't think we can simply stay here. That's the bus between CB and Kirkstadt. So here we only have buses between cities. And we'll see the reason when we are in Kirkstadt. These are all buses here from the US car set. A, a new flyer something? I've never heard, heard about that. There are only t two out of these three are in use. Uh, the third one was... Uh, from the olden days, a horse carriage connections, and I haven't painstakingly deleted uh, any unused stops. So we sometimes have a bit oversized bus stops, and sometimes we have cactuses growing through the bus stop, which is interesting. But anyway. So, let's go to Kirkstadt. Keeping our way along the coast. Alright, autosave complete. Why isn't this going? Ah, there we go, I'm not sure. Sometimes it needs a minute. Because there are tons of calculations running on this huge map, and so uh, there's sometimes a bit of a hiccup uh, with uh, that every uh, vehicle knows what to do. Okay, so we're now heading more or less straight east. First through CB and then the country road that goes directly parallel to the north coast. So, there is the bridge across the river ends, and we should be able to see uh, some ship traffic and some factory. So the port that you see on the right at, uh, at 1 o'clock, that's a uh, port for a big bricks factory, and there are multiple ship lines then coming, or uh, shipping those bricks uh, somewhere else. We should get a good glimpse at that from up here. Yeah, so there are the different uh, terminals with bricks waiting ship waiting to be loaded. There is the bricks factory which you can then spot behind the uh, rails and there is then the view of the river ends which goes all the way to Ellisbury uh, south but we don't go south we go east. Top speed of 80 limit for these roads and m many more ships. There are two different variants of freighters, so uh, both still exist as new ships. One I think is from the 60s even, and the other one is from the 90s. 
But since they both exist, I haven't uh, replaced all old freighters with new ones, because that would have probably blown the budget. I just replaced old freighters with new ones when I just needed a little bit more capacity somewhere. Because these freighters are huge, so going from two to three is a massive uh, increase, whereas going from two old ones to two newer ones isn't that big of an upgrade in terms of throughput, so that's uh, why you see a few of these sleeker ones and then uh, most are still of the 1960s vintage, uh, that's perfectly f adequate. So here is a small access road going to the bricks factory. And otherwise, yeah, that's the coastline probably in the Scandinavian part already. Although, no, th this should be this is, uh, above um, Picton, so we should probably cross into Scandinavia, or into the uh, Scandinavian part uh, in the near future. I don't recall where exactly the borders are. I'm sure there is a map uh, on the Discord somewhere. That's the other bus that goes between CB and Kirkstadt. There we see a steel mill, so in keeping with, uh, I think, Sweden being a big producer of uh, ore, ore and steel, I kept the same theme here. So that's the Kirkstadt sea, uh, steel mill, so now we're definitely in the Scandinavian part. And more ships in the distance, so even here there are some rolling hills. So, steam will that work? And we are approaching Kirkstadt. That's the port. And the first houses. But these are access access road to the steel mill, and the next uh, road to the right uh, that we are going to approach uh, very soon is then the access road to the uh, a truck exchange that's up the up the hill. And the city has grown that they even built the houses in these access roads. It started, I think, entirely on the other side of that bridge that has just expanded he massively into here. I think we crossed the bridge because the bus stop is on the other side, in the old town, so to speak, and it's all the, the new part of town. Not the most elegant intersection here, but anyway. Going across a small river that ends here. And now we are in Old Kirkstadt. And shouldn't be too far away from the bus stop. I think there, yeah, there it is. And we will jump right into the other bus. Or is that a local one? Let's, let's see. Because here you see the, why here are single bus lines. This is a different bus. That's a Volvo bus. And that's a local bus, that's this CCW, the counterclockwise. It doesn't have a clockwise. But I never knew whether these cities would get one, so I simply named all uh, after the orientation. So we are in an US car set bus, and everything up here follows the EU car set, and there we see. Uh, these differences nicely, nicely side by side. You couldn't plan this uh, any any better. So that's a Volvo bus, uh, as perfectly fitting for the Scandinavian part, but it's used everywhere where the EU car set uh, is used. And this will bring us to the city of Kronhaven, which is uh, further east. So let's join so that we get a spot. But this looks pretty full. No, it's okay. 12 of 17, not including us. So uh, along the coast, further east, and that's why there is no line that crosses both. Um, 
One has uh, the US bus from the English speaking part of Gazmia into a uh, non English speaking part. And then everything here in East Gazmia follows the EU car set. Whereas everything in the English speaking part follows the US car set. Some, some, some overlap, so these Isuzus are everywhere because that's the sole uh, light truck for inner city deliveries. Whereas the big trucks are also different. Uh, have the Cascadia for the US car set and a Scania, I think, inspired uh, 40 ton truck. So now we're getting back onto the coastal road and make our way to Kronhaf, which is probably then at the also at the uh, Scandinavian part, but very close to the uh, German-speaking part as well. So the ship traffic thins a bit here. So basically, all the ships here are grain ships towards Bad Neusund, there's a big food factory, all the ore and coal ships that go from Kasmouth, where we were, uh, into Gesmia, in, and then to Erkhausen uh, for coal and ore. some coast work with some, some lake I suspect I'm not sure whether this has an actual connection to the to the ocean in game it doesn't matter in game everything uh, below sea level is water and that's it so there is no flowing water or anything and that's why all the other rivers are painted on textures I simply followed what was on the original topographical map So that's the outskirts of Kronhaven. This also has expanded massively. So in 1850 this hasn't existed, so Kronhaven also was solely on the other side of the bridge. And that's where we will also have our bus stop. Then we will have to make a short hop and then with another bus to Bad Neusund. Because it doesn't make sense to connect these two to a single line, because one is huge in terms of distance. The one we were on and the other one to Bad Neusund is just a very short hop. And if you have imbalanced parts of a longer line, then neither runs efficient. Because you have always have to supply for the biggest demand, and that's usually on the long hop. Because the buses are oh, uh, underway for a long time, and then the other, it, it runs uh, then uh, half empty on the other part. So that's Kronhaven, and yeah, we turn right, we must stop somewhere inland. That looks like, like a bus stop there on the left, next to the depot. And there's a bit of a hub, so we have buses to Kirkstadt, where we came from. To Bad Nozund, which we will take, 
to Hammersbach in the south and a local one going around Kronhaven. I think that was it. So we can exit and check whether this bus is... No, this one goes to Hammersbach. And let's, let's get back on and exit properly. Because there is no rush with another bus we'd have to take. And this also we can see from the old design here since 18, 1860 or so. Alright, doors are open. And to, and to Felsbach, so one more. Uh, so also a Felsbach a bit in the, in the middle of nowhere. City that I always tend to forget with, with everything. And now we have to wait for the Bad Neusund bus, which is already here. Perfect, and it's full. So then... So now we have a meeting of three buses, four, the, the, lo no, no, the local one just makes another turn. But meeting of three buses, Hammersbach, Kirkstadt and Bad Neusund, and the latter is the one we want. And that looks also like this one could be full as well. So that's a pretty nice demand. Because the fastest way from here to Vilburg Airport is also probably through Bad Neusund and then the train south. But we wouldn't take the train south. We want to stay on the coast. So doors open. People leave and then we jump on. Yes, this is full. We're leaving many people behind, a few, but I think this is fine. This evens out over time. So now a short hop to Bad Neusund along the coast. And then we are at the eastern part of Gizmir. So, so far everything was Gizmir. From the western tip of Vianta to here. So here's the truck stop. So here we have a road that I probably should update, because that's still the old one. That's the 60 kph. It probably doesn't matter much. As we see, we don't even reach that. Um, but simply for uh, completion's sake that I update this bridge. Here it's fine. So. That shows how often I've been here. Never, I think, in first-person mode. So that truck was carrying food to... Yeah, probably Kirkstadt. Or Kronhaven. Kronhaven, rather, not Kirkstadt. So this is Bad Neusund Port, and we have the food factory uh, somewhere here. Busy port. That's a bit of a hub because here is the river ends. There we see the mouth of the of the river ends at um, eleven o'clock, and that's the sort of the border river to Hana. And that, spoiler alert, is where we head next. Again, single single bus, because from here on uh, it's a bus line that goes into Ohana, so an international bus, so it wouldn't be one bus line. Uh, Kronhaven, Bad Neusund, but then Zlisa is then the next uh, stop. And then we luckily will get a long uh, line, a long bus line inside Ohana from Schliza to Yartas. But first, way towards the bus stop. There is the Bad Neusund train station. Again, the old building.
And I think here it might be one of the few cities that doesn't have a bus station. I think here I'm simply reusing the local bus stop for everything. So let's exit. Yeah. So where does this one go? Bad Neusund. That's the local bus. So we have to. And that's the Slisa bus. Perfect. Perfect timing again. So technically, I should tear down this building and build a proper bus stop, but yeah. It's fine, I don't think I'm losing many people here. Because these buses run rather frequently. So, then let's board the international bus into Ohana. And we see some nice passenger traffic here. Uh, they all want to take the train south to Wilburg. Maybe to Wilburg Airport even. Alright. We turn around on a dime, as any bus does. He will actually politely wait and don't run over people, that's good. And then head towards Ahana. Here we see an MIN tank truck, this one comes from Wilburg, bringing fuel. Susan transporting bricks. And make our way to the right. That's now south. That's Trilgesmia, but then here is the mouth of the River Albe. And this stone bridge is the historical border bridge between Ahana and Gesmia, and that's why they, ha they haven't modernized that. That's a heritage bridge. Where there was little traffic and very uh, regulated traffic uh, until 1990. After that, the borders opened. So that's why you can sell your. I guess me and cars in Ahana and vice versa since 1990 in, in automation. So they've modernized the street but not the building. South is the road towards Wilburg. Not taking that. And here we should also be able to see some ship traffic here on the on the Albe. Yeah. But this all goes to Wilburg or to Erkhausen. And you see a tow boat on the left. So that's for local traffic that goes between Bad Neusund and Erkhausen, I think. Here is the counterpart bus, and that's a green one, that's an M MAZ. And that's part of the Asian car set. So this line is shared between uh, Gizmir and Nahana, and this is uh, represented with two different bus types that run on the same line. So now we're in Nahana. Take a last look at Bad Neusund from the distance. And now here at the still at the coast, but now in the Ahana coast, and make our way to the bus stop here, and then we can finally board a longer bus line. So again, no train traffic on the coast. That is the local one. Yeah, that's just there's just the access road here to train station. So we have to travel a little bit further through uh, Schlieser. That's one of the GAZ trucks, I think. The, these are all over Ahana.
So here is the modernized Schlitzer train station and we see one of the um, Achanen trains, diesel trains. Uh, stopping that one goes to Wilburg on the one direction and to Wachstuck on the other direction. But we don't. So an entirely new train station new building. But still the old bus station. The old style. We're gonna have modernized that. I wish there were a button for that. And you don't have to demolish the entire bus station. So here we are. This is... No, that's the local bus again. Was there... No, if you look the other direction, there is one incoming. North Coast coach. Yeah, perfect. So we can wait again. Watch and watch the passengers going about. That's for the best view. And have the oh, these are train station in the background, and the commuter train going to Wilburg across the bridge. While we're waiting for the green bus to come part of the North Coast uh, connection here in Ohana, and we'll take that all the way along the North Coast to Yatas at the very uh, east of Ahana. Yeah, this looks a bit funny, but that's how it is. And this is full. So, of course, just a, a train arrived, and so plenty of people want to go. And we also do. I think we haven't been to the Ahana Nose Coast at all, ever. So that's an all new, new perspective. So here, last glimpse at the Erschliza station. It has catenary, but it's diesel truck, uh, diesel trains running there because they have to go to Wilburg, um, so internationally, and uh, Wilburg is all diesel anyway, except for the high-speed train. So that's why the uh, uh, catenary is a leftover from the previous trains, because then there was the uh, basin trains made it brief detour to uh, Schliza as the uh, only city outside the basin where they stopped and they were electric so that's why they have uh, full electrification but it's not used anymore for passenger trains. So now we go to Kula, leaving Schliza behind, big river, all being transported and I think logs and lumber being transported and then there is the big uh, Schliza uh, port, which is a big, big hub, also with the train. Next, North Coast, North, North Coast coach. So these uh, these run rather frequently because that's the only connection of all the cities in the north. I think these buildings technically still belong to Schliza, so that shows how much these cities are currently uh, limited by the terrain. So that's the. Uh, outside of the Achanen hinterlands and more ship traffic here at the Achanen north coast that's Kula ahead so these cities here are all, all pretty small so you notice the absence of high-rise buildings compared to some other cities, these are markedly smaller. And the cities are being built automatically by the game, so nothing I do, and if I were to do something it would be probably be, be overridden anyway, based on sort of supply and demand. And yeah, these all could use a bit of maintenance, so you may have noticed all the Gasmin buses were pristine. That's not the case for the Yohanan buses. I run them at different levels of maintenance. No 
No one's waiting, but I suspect many people will exit. At least some. Yeah. Well, actually quite a bit. So that was the Kula stop. And we head further east. Ah, there was a car spawning in front of us, so that's a sim that simply goes somewhere now, by car. We might be stuck behind that golf for a fair while. Unless, which is improbable, that they will simply drive somewhere within Kula. They usually go somewhere else. And there aren't that many ways to go anywhere else than east or west here. Because there's always the mountain ridge here on the right. Uh, for the hinterlands, and there are basically no roads going through that. The next stop is Mentash. That's one of the few uh, places where you can go into the basin. So we see we'll see a bit of a hub situation there for people and for cargo. But it is still a fair bit. Otherwise, there is just landscape. Up here. So here's mountains for the hinterlands and the coast behind that hill on the left. And some alone ship or two ships if we count the one in the on the horizon, so here is uh, some traffic, but not that much. It's mainly supply. Will be a bit more the further east we go. Yartas is a big shipping hub for ore and coal from the hinterlands, but that's not ships we see here. Well, all the ore and coal from Yartas is shipped, uh, I think, through Alvilma. So further east in the Lua. There might be one or ship line going to Shliza, I'm not quite sure at the moment. It has been has been a fair while since I built those. So that's Bentash. That's the logging operation here, and the city has grown into the logging operation. At least they can get their sausages uh, for lunch, I guess. So there's a bus stop here in the outskirts, but we simply stay in the bus. There are plenty of people wanting to go. That might be the inner basin connection. Let's see, can I catch a glimpse on what the other bus is about? I gave every bus its own terminal. Yeah, so all those people waiting want to go into the basin. plastic chair on that ad uh, there. What is this one for? Uh, difficult to read on this resolution. I'm not running it at maximum resolution because otherwise you would probably get stutters uh, in, the, in the video. This is medium resolution. Yeah, and it's here slightly used but with some Patina, I guess. 
that is probably then the bus going to the basin that takes all those folks uh, away. Nope, that's the local bus for Mantash. So then the basin connection probably will follow them pretty soon. So we go further east. Next is Yartas. What we didn't see was the port here in uh, Mentash, which is slightly uh, further inland. Uh, there's a bit, a bit of a river that is unnavigable. And then the port, the port here is, is uh, further inland. Ah, no, here, here we see that. That's why there's a new bridge here so that the ships can pass in the easily under that. And then there's another bridge and the port is under the bridge. So that was uh, a recent, rather recent construction. And then there lots of goods are being uh, shipped either here into Mentash or to Aberezovka inside the basin or I think also one ore mine or coal mine is uh, unloaded here. And then that's that goes, I think, to uh, Schlieser. Yeah, so, city limits behind us. And some wildlife. Now not next to the train tracks, but next to the road. And there seem to be a few, actually. One, two, three, four. So apparently f five. I've never seen that many. Six. In any first-person mode. So apparently they all gather here. Seven. Yeah. They all seem to gather here. Eight. One on the right. Nine. That almost looks like Red Dead Redemption uh, here. Here's the entire grove. Wow. I've never seen that. So apparently they all move here and here they can live undisturbed by trains. So that's the Easter egg, yes. But apparently that's a next level Easter egg. That there are sort of safe safe pockets for wildlife. And that since I've played this map since 1850 on a quarter speed. So tons of years have passed because the thing is the game is I calibrated for normal speed um, and then this probably has been so driven out from everywhere and maybe moved here and then here it's undisturbed and uh, stays alive. I, I, wow, that's a huge lot. Okay, now one less, I guess. I probably should put up some signs and I'm sure there, there are mods for that. I should put up some signs. Uh, uh, danger wildlife. I thought I've seen everything in this game, but apparently I haven't. And that's what we see here. In any case, that's Yarta, so you see a big port. And we will also join one of the biggest um, mixed um, terminals for bus passengers and trucks. So that's Yurtas proper, and here is that big hub. Welcome to Hollywood. No, maybe not. At least maybe to Yurtas. So that's the biggest city here on the north coast. And here you see lots of trucks being unloaded. So the blue ones are local supp uh, supply. The orange one brings ore. The black one that's turning there is coal. So I had to debug those at some point. They were. Uh, have been having a big jam and then I needed to know which truck is which one. So that's why they have different colors. Uh, and here we end our bus trip in the North Coast coach and we switch to the basin connection to fo first follow the coast because it has one more uh, stop along the coast and that's no, that's the local one again but that probably might not be that far away. Let me check. No, it is far away so I'll wait a little bit. Uh, so it goes then further sort of along the coast to Nakulik uh, and then we have to improvise from Nakulik, but we can manage that. 
So a bit of a wait. Uh, so we see the bus up here um, coming in and we'll take that but I'll uh, cut that part out of the video. So there's our bus making the way towards the hub and you can uh, see the, the busyness of this hub. So we have three different, at least three different um, local supply trucks and then all the orange trucks for ore and the black ones for coal uh, and three bus lines, so the North Coast coach, the local one and the Basin coach all coming together here. So that is ours and we take that just for one stop because it goes only along the coast line for one stop. Yeah, northern, northern Basin connection, not the North Coast connection. There is no Southern Basin connection, by the way. That's all one line in the end. There is only one line between Ar Aruvatka and uh, Kronograd. That's the sort of Southern Basin connection. But I, yeah, I haven't bothered to rename the line. So, and we leave Yartas and go to Nakulik. It's not directly along the coast, but here we can take one final look sort of at the coast, which is behind all that. Uh, and then we go a little bit for the basin, but at least that's the closest uh, we can get to um, the coast. Ah, another sim spawning, so going somewhere south through the basin. And this is one of the few routes into the basin. Uh, in, into the hinterlands, sorry, for the hinterlands. It has, its, it has its mini basin, so to speak. It's not the big Ahanan basin. So one is in Mentash and the other one is here and everything else is basically inaccessible by our roads. At least according to the official map, because I think that's what I built the uh, traffic network on, the road network. If you're getting sick of buses, I can promise this is now going to change. At least for a little bit, so we have more buses on the southern uh, part of Hana. So they focused their extensive train net network inside the big basin, but not here the Interlands, but the big basin where Akronagrad and the Vobeskov, uh, etc. are, and then into and out of the basin to the, the north. In Sliza, where we were, to the east, into the, uh, the Lua, where I think most of the older videos with the train lines were about, and then one in the south uh, towards Yalta, and that's it. And the other parts of the um, coast is just buses for passenger traffic. On the plus side, we haven't been here, uh, and we haven't been to the uh, south uh, Ahanen coast by bus either, so that's all new and first time on the video. So here on the right we they go to some mining operations here and also the roads now turn uh, to be a bit more basic. So top speed here is 60. No center markings. So that's to simulate the dire uh, state Hanan roads outside the major centers are in. So top speed is 60. So imagine potholes uh, plenty here. And this is all hinterlands on the east side. You see a house there that belongs to Nakolik. Where we will exit. And then we are at the eastern end of North Ahana. So this is already Nakolik, so the city also has expanded and we'll see how long it has become.
So we now turn left and down and go to the Nakulik and then you can see the coast again. But there are no roads at all. These are proper uh, northeastern coast. So that's a river. There's one bus stop, but this, that's a bus stop there. This bus will stop at the uh, at the return, so we go further in. Or not? That's odd. I guess that's a ah no, it's 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 all right. Uh, this is the stop for if you come from Yartas, and this stop here is if you come from Berezovka. Okay, everything's working. Uh, as intended. So this is the river and here is the coast and now we have to make a slight improvisation so the only way away from Nakulik would be the other bus lane. So what we'll do is hitch a ride on one of these freighters uh, and they stop on the Daluan island of Al Nemra. So let's go there and so fast fast forward and then so here we are on Al Nemra around the oil well and that's basically then the point of the city and we wait for passenger uh, transportation to Al to the to the mainland de Lua so to Al Rima. so there is our ticket back to the mainland and that's another hovercraft so now the only hovercrafts running between Porta Minta and Vianta to either Lawson in Gesmia or uh, Marina Friana in uh, Frenia, which is uh, directly next to Via Stella, but also there are hovercrafts here between the island of Alnemra and the Deluan mainland. So it's f almost full, but not many people are waiting, so it's always a bit cyclical and maybe also depending on whether the uh, bus was just here or not, the local Al Alnemra bus, but anyway. So then let's board this hovercraft and then that we stay with the coast uh, in the lure let's go and plenty of tanker traffic here and uh, the uh, supply ships um, coming from as well. On the right we see the skyline, we at least get a glimpse of the skyline of Bazara, so that big building at now uh, 12 o'clock. That's Bazara, but our port is here. We go through all this tanker traffic and probably literally depending on uh, where they happen to be because ships simply pass through each other for the sake of pathfinding. So we're doing 93, that's the top speed for these hovercraft and this makes these hovercraft the best passenger ships possible. So we'll take that bus that's that's uh, over there, so that brings us to uh, Al Roma on the south coast. Uh, so let's dock properly and then I'll simply switch to, to the bus some tankers, big tank trucks on the lift bringing stuff from the oil wells uh, to the port. Okay, so we are now docking and I'm going to exit and jump on the bus. Not much is lost there. And then it doesn't go exactly near the coast, so the coast is over there, but that's again that's the only uh, public connection here in the Lua. And then we'll stop somewhere close to the south coast. So a large wide roads here in the Lua. And this is now Al Roma, the local bus. And we have to hitch another ride on a on a tanker this time to go from here along the coasts uh, to uh, the Hanan coast again to the southern part.
So here we have Al Rima, the outskirts. One more tank truck. And do we pick everyone up? Yes, perfect. Plus it's four. So there we, there we see the south coast of the Lua. So it's tiny compared to everything else. Yellow is the color for the Lua, by the way. So that's why all these ships are yellow. Red is Gizmia. Blue is Hadvija. Green is Frenia. Orange is Vianta. And I think black is Ahana. So there we see the other coast that we see is the uh, Ahanan continuation of the coast. So that's where we want to be. The port is now on the left. The big oil port. And the train station on the right. So there is the oil port. So we have tankers from Gizmia, the red ones. Frenia, the green ones. And the Lua, the yellow ones, dock. And I think for the sake of simplicity, we can probably exit here. Because there will be no further stop down down here. This is all uh, cargo. And what we'll do is hitch a ride from here, the Al Ruma cargo port, via this ship route to Tuzgala. And then, yeah, have to uh, hitchhike from, from here to uh, Tuzgala. So on the... Um, continuation of the coast in Ahana again and wait for a bus here on the bus line is this one yeah this is a south coast coach okay then let's simply jump on that this will take us now from Tuscala south to Charybda so now we are on the southern half of the, the continent so we basically missed Tuscala but it's simply to simplify things otherwise same picture we have these GAZ gas trucks we have ships so the red one is are, are tankers from Gizmia the blue the uh, green one is a tanker that goes to Farinia and then some other ships some are black then these are Aha local Ahan ships there are also a few down down here cars by the way they simply spawn randomly so they are not region based well, that's why we've always seen also in the past videos and the so pink pink Cadillacs in Ahana and uh, Trabans and Ladas in Gizmia that's uh, uh, so that so the game doesn't know regions or, or, or anything it's just one map and everything ha happens on that map if I can set different trains or buses then that's me simply making the right selections uh, for the right uh, regions but everything else that's spawned by the game is uh, the same across the map whether it's buildings or whether it's cars or the look of sims even the names of sims all have english names uh, so that's uh, not not mixed as here either at least we have cars of all different types so eu us and uh, asian cars uh, here so that's charybda that's the port what is waiting there? Plenty of tools. We go into uh, Charybda proper. And then mountain range. Then on the other side is the Ahana Basin. And here we are on the on the outside. So Ahana has a produce of terrible uh, geography with everything happening, almost everything happening inside the basin. A few uh, cities scattered around the outside. And then the big challenge: how to get the goods and the people into the basin uh, that need to be there, or rather out of the basin as well. Then the finished goods. So here is the bus stop, the one local bus. And then two stops for the South Coast coach, so one going north and the other one going south. We stay on this for a fair while, till we can then finally switch to a train again.
taking a while again. I suspect it's yeah, processing stuff. There we go. So next is Curlin, further south. They invented the tiny houses. It should be residential, I think. And about a, some decently larger houses around as well. Okay, back to the main road. No, that's still that's still um, Alcaripta. That's the main road ahead and the coast ahead. Alright, and then finally back up to speed again. Sort of, at least it's still, a bit, still within city limits. I think after the bridge then we can go back to 80. And yeah, plenty of tankers here. And others. All supplying crude oil to the refineries in Miranio. Marina. I always mix up these two cities. Um, second one in Harford and the third one in Lost Nonclaris. So basically half around the map and for the other two uh, once around the, or half, no, for the first one to Farinia a quarter around the map and back and then for those to Gesmia basically half or halfway around the map and back. Uh, so there are plenty of those. haven't changed old bridges here on the south coast because I figure they would keep some stone bridges around if they're not used much and if they were reasonably well built. Are there are no big trucks or anything running over those. And otherwise yeah lots of landscape, dry landscape, dry-ish landscape. So approaching Curlin, there is a ship depot. And you see tons of tons of tanks here going back and forth and going through each other. Yeah, pathing pathing at its best. But otherwise they would be just dancing ballet all the time, so that would be a solution either. One of our counterpart buses and we're entering Curlin. So this city had some space to grow properly and not be tucked into the hillside. So I think we have to go through the entire city and then the bus stop is on the outskirts. The truck stop on the left and the port behind it. I think our stop should be on the right here somewhere. Yeah, there we are. So 
So here we see then the. So now we are actually at the south uh, coast again. So not, well, too far back to Bianta, sort of. And then the mountain ridge there is then the, again the. On the other side is the big Harlem Basin with Kronograd and Mara and Glensk and stuff. So people exiting, people entering. The four, could we take everyone with us? Yes, perfect. And now onto the final bus stop. Here in the south, Yelta. Yeah, the people are walking a bit slowly, so I suspect, yeah, the game has trouble keeping up with the calculations. Everything that needs to happen, and that's why we're waiting a couple seconds extra at these bus stops. Okay, autosave done. So then let's go to Yalta. And we have the city limits almost behind us, so it should be pretty quick. There we go, that's the Curlian port here. There are a couple of the airships docking. And we already see Yalta at 11 o'clock, so that's how we're going. So here are some roads here into there. That's uh, I think an ore mine. But there isn't anything else behind that, so we're not missing anything. So you see the tankers in the distance as they go straight um, east and west, whereas here we are in um, a bit further north, so that's why we don't have that many uh, ships here going back and forth, that's just the local traffic. So there is Yelta. And I've also grown a bit here into this port, which I don't think was Yelta originally. So now we're inside the other proper. And here we can finally make a switch to trains again. It's a spec return right, because there's a train station up there. No? Okay. And we turn right here. Kind of get a glimpse of a train coming down. We won't be taking that, we won't go into the basin. Let 
There we can see the arch of the train station building, main building. One of the main buildings, there are two. I'm stuck now behind one of the gas trucks. And here is the bus stop. And the modern... The, 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 there's a modern train station building and then an old train station building. So the modern is here to facilitate um, traffic. There is a train leaving. Let me just check which one it is. It's the one towards Leningrad. That's the one we want. It's full, but I'm sure we can hop on it anyway. So that was a bit of a, a quick changeover, but yeah, I like to use these opportunities whenever I get them. So now back on rails again, still along the south coast. This is now the bit that I think we've seen quite some uh, at some times with all these older uh, train rides that went from Alroma to Harford or something. That was that bit that was used for that, and that went along the south coast. So it could be probably interesting to compare how things have changed uh, since then. Or you can use the chapters to fast forward to almost the end, because there's going to be one uh, a surprise for the second to last leg of, of this journey. I can already announce that. So what we're going to see now is stuff that uh, isn't entirely new, whereas I think most of the things so far have been entirely new. Well, that's why I made this around the coast uh, video uh, separately. So we now enter Leningrad, and if I were to hazard a guess, then I would suspect um, that this city has grown the most since the last uh, recordings. So from a sleepy border town into uh, a city with some of the high rises here even, and we will stop but not exit, because uh, it has gotten a fair bit of new connections. So we see this new long platform there for a high speed train, which we'll probably meet uh, at some point. Uh, so that goes all the way to Harford, stopping in Terso and Berlau and uh, replacing the individual uh, high-speed trains between those stations. It also got uh, a bus connection to Wilburg, uh, so a second route into Gizmir. And um, yeah, so I suspect that made all the difference that there are now these uh, fast connections everywhere and not just uh, a commuter trains to Porte Imen and um, to uh, Yelta in a bus a connection to, to um, Anna Vibeskov, I think, uh, but also then these connections uh, to uh, further away uh, cities. So we see the catenary on the lift, so that's the end of the electrification uh, into Ahana, uh, and otherwise this here down here is all diesel. And this is still Linagrad, uh, so it also occupies uh, a pretty large uh, amount of real estate. And we go now to uh, Porte Imen, the border town in Fuinia, which I think still is the sleepy border town. It has been before. So I suspect not, sh not much has happened there. So this road is the road that goes to Wilburg eventually. So we see nicely modernized 
uh, train station here, including a new building. So Farinia is on top of modern style yeah, and there we see the high-speed train where we stop here and have to exit and then wait for the uh, Freenian commuter train which we'll take uh, along the south coast so have we have to, we have to wait long no there there is the commuter train this is almost planned, which it isn't. Uh, just started the video at the end of the save, at the start of the save game, and then went from there. Uh, so that's uh, the uh, Freenian commuter train. Here on the right, we see the Ohanan commuter train, which we didn't get a good glimpse at when I just jumped uh, onto it from the bus. So this goes back to Leningrad and Yelta and Mara and Kronograd, and here this one goes along the entire Freenian south coast. So let's hop onto that. And it also pr should probably be overtaken then at some point here by the um, high-speed train that goes back to Terso from Leningrad. But we get here we can exit, so probably might be overtaken in uh, Araikanta or Kalidis or somewhere. So this is uh, still uh, Port de Imen. It also has grown a little bit across the bridge. So technically across the bridge is uh, and around the farm is uh, Cante del Mar. Although in game terms it is all still Porte Imen. So highest speed we've been for a while and uh, this uh, train is pretty fast and pretty powerful even though just being a commuter train. So now we're making our way back towards Vianta. Uh, still going south, so this is the east coast of Rhenia. Il de Gastella, uh, over there with a the food factory. Probably some a traditional food that has always been made in the in the castle that has uh, given the island the name. So here we have Kalidis. Also, freshly modernized, train stylish train station. question is can we exit before we get the high-speed train overtaking us so if you look at the signals that's uh, the high-speed train once it enters the station it blocks the entire track till that second signal whereas we are not blocking anything we are uh, only blocking the little part till the first signal so that's how I have to signal things that the faster train in the middle can overtake and no, nope, we're good so when we probably get them overtaken the next stop Raikanta ignore this glitch in the middle of the bridge this sometimes happens and I don't know how to uh, I remove it and I don't want to remove this bridge type because I sort of like it for these older railway bridges so plenty of speed before we get to Raikanta as I said this train is not a slouch 
So we have good good ridership and also empty highways. As we can see on the lift, there are hardly any cars there. And that's simply because this train exists and is fast. It's faster than the cars. The cars can do 100 on, the, on there on these roads. And this train is faster. So many people choose the train and not that many choose the cars. There's no one here. That's a bit odd. Should be some people here. Ah, there we are overtaken. Yeah, as I said, this one, this train blocks everything, and we are blocked by that signal. So we have to wait, but not that long. Yeah, so. Clears the block. Plane ahead, take have, having taken off from uh, Terso Airport, I suspect. And we haven't seen many planes there because they don't f really fly on coasts. On the, on the south coast, yes, because both Berlau and Terso Airport are on the south coast, but on the other, otherwise, they only fly through the middle of the um, continent. You see, we see one of the few traffic lights, which is sort of needed, and uh, now we see the second high-speed train. So there are three on this on this line, and they're all needed to get people to and from where they want to want to be. So that's very popular. And heading to Terso, to the capital. On the right, we have the Vita Steel Mill. On the left is Terso um, Cargo Port, and plenty of trucks also going. Uh, around on the highway, and we have a very nice skyline for Terzo. It's the first capital we are actually seeing, so only the capitals, they are all bigger. They all have these skylines, whereas other cities may have the odds single high-rise or medium high-rise, and these have the high high-rises, which we can't see because uh, the Terzo is on a hill and um, the train station is uh, closer to sea level. Okay, here are people waiting, so I'm not sure what, why there was no one in Araikanta. These probably most of these have just come out of this train, which is still unloading, and then they can go west with us, or they vanish into the, oh, which we can't see. So there are there is one platform that has stairs that go uh, underneath and. Uh, And they can switch platforms or go to the main station and exit. Okay. High speed train leaves. It doesn't matter. We're slower anyway. And as. Yeah, they have. We are almost full. Perfect. And they've taken everyone as well. So also perfect. So we've seen all three high-speed trains. They seem to be all in this part, but now they start to uh, spread out again because they're the third one waiting. No, hang on. This 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 train that was here that was the one that's just overtaken us. Yeah, so everything's fine. And then the third train is probably somewhere in Gizmia. Ah, uh, okay. Now we have to wait till this train enters because they share tracks. Because there is no space here in in Terso to have two uh, tracks due to the geography. And I don't want to tear down everything that has grown down here to expand the train station, so that simply the high-speed train has to make you with one track. Okay, so train is in. And then let's go further west. Next stop, Porto Castelfranco. And we see the counterpart commuter train, so there are two running. And they always meet around Tesla, which is perfect. Well, this is a bit uphill, so that's why the acceleration is a bit slow, but that changes now. I think it's not downhill to 
Porto Casper Franco. And plenty of ship traffic again, so now we are at the uh, southernmost part again, so we see all the tankers and the other uh, ship traffic, and there is plenty here in Frenia. There is no cargo sh cargo trains here whatsoever, everything is done on water. So, Porto Castelfranco, you see no high, high rises, only some yeah medium height buildings, so it's a bit of a larger city. And we're stopping, of course. And here we have an example, old station and new platforms. So they kept it a bit traditional. Can we take everyone with us who wants to go west? Because we are almost full and there are not a few people waiting. No, oh, that works. Yeah, easy. So Terso is usually the peak because it's as the high-speed train stop and the airport and then these commuter trains basically distribute people then uh, west and east of Terso. So if the capacity is fine around Terso then it's fine full stop. Speaking of stop, next stop Via Stella and that's where we will exit for the second to last leg of the journey back to Vianta, believe it or not. So that's that's a surprise I mentioned earlier. Something we haven't done before because we couldn't. This the line we're going to take is pretty new, I think. So we can go past 120 in, the, in these commuter trains, they are fast, and here they can make the speed. Until we yeah, have to go into the curve towards Via Stella. So that's already had Vija ahead, the Klaffenstein volcano on the, on the horizon at now 11 o'clock. But we'll exit here, so we won't go past the mountain by train. And again, we have modern platforms and uh, a traditional uh, building, main building for the train station. All right, then let's exit. And we take the bus to our... No, we don't. Our destination is here. Maria Furiana. And... I'm the luckiest person in the world. There comes our ride, another hovercraft that goes from here to Vianta, and this is uncut. This was just um, after our train stopped. I haven't cut anything. So that goes back to Porta Minta. And there are, there's only two, I think, on the line, so that's actually pretty rare that this is here. So let's go aboard. And this will take us then to Porta Minta and then it's just a rail bus again to Ocha. And then we've been round the entire coast and here we simply see then the entire uh, our remaining south coast from the water, from the ocean. And these are four. I think there are two on, on here. So with 93 kilometers an hour, straight on, so no, no stopping. This is actually pretty competitive compared to trains. We will probably pass through ships, because uh, it's futile to optimize the ship routes down here. So yeah, don't be surprised. I think this ship turns because it may, might stop even here. And that's a Afrinian ship because it's green. And yeah, so that's the south coast, so that's Via Stella. 
and Monte San Ignacio, I think is the name. And then it's already Hedvija here. So that's a nice view of the Hedvigian south coast. That's a ship from Bianta here on the right, because it's orange. And that's a Gesmian ship on the left, because that's red. And that's how to distinguish at least the basic regions where the ships are from. So that's the Klaffenstein volcano in Hedvija. At the foot of that is Friedhain am Meer. And there we have Zeilwies uh, at uh, 12 o'clock. And the border between Hedvija and Frenia, a bit further east. So I'm keeping the camera a bit tilted to the right, so because ahead is basically just water. But I think this is the more unique perspective, and again, one we haven't seen at all, because this uh, hovercraft line, I think, is pretty recent. And then with 93 kilometers, but without the uh, twists and turns that the trains have to do, and without the stops, this is probably faster, actually, than, than trains. If you want to go to Vianta, that is. Uh, because otherwise you have to take uh, several trains uh, to Lawson, and the other stop is then Lawson for the uh, hovercraft to Vianta. Hopefully the last autosave. Might get one more if we're unlucky. Blue one, that's Hedvija, and probably needs some maintenance, but I had to cut some maintenance because some of the modern trains got a bit expensive and unprofitable. So the, these these ships basically pay for everything. And then I had to cut some maintenance here to um, keep the costs down. Why are we... Are they trying to avoid things? Probably. Yeah, so that's pathing. So apparently they they try an anti-collision, but fail. And that's a tanker here. And the other one is a regular freighter. So, more Hedvija. That's Friedhain am Meer up close. It's not entirely, I mean, well, it's at, at the sea um, on the north-south part of the coast, but not, on, not here. Uh, on the um, southern coast. Lureburg farm, I think. And Meereshofen at one o'clock. And here I suspect we'll pass through that tanker. Yeah. Which is fine with me. It's doing tanker ballet. So that's Meereshofen. It's grown nicely into the mountains, or into the foot of the mountains at least. Probably one of the cities with the, with the quirkiest layout on the map due to the terrain. If we squint, we can see Vianta at the horizon already. That's where we're going. So a bit view of Meereshofen and then Berlau in the distance behind it. So against the two rivers now at, at 12 o'clock in the middle. That skyline, that's, that's Berlau, the capital of Hedvija. And here, yeah, we're overtaking a, another Vientan freighter. Burnt orange, or rather, a rusty orange, uh, rather. So there are some ships bringing grain and logs away from Vienta, and I suspect that's one of those. So now we see Berlau a bit better, or rather the skyline of Berlau from the, from the distance. So it's another capital, so they have the proper high-rise buildings. I think there's one level 
higher high rises, but then you would need even larger cities which don't fit on the map at all. But I think this this makes a nice balance between normal cities having the odd medium high uh, medium height building, and then the high rises are then only limited to the capitals. All right, then. Ahead, Porta Minta, now much better view. In the right, there's a plane landing at Berlau Airport, perfect shot. So, touchdown. Excellent. And then we don't make the turn to the north to follow the coastline, but rather we go back to Vienta. Uh, and uh, then dock there, and that's where we were before, at the start, a fair while ago. So this takes a while to get around the coast. But you get some unique perspectives uh, alongside as well. So, la so here's Berlo Airport. Perfect view, and then Karlstadt to the left. See the train station, the big white thing that's now vanishing behind the trees, that's Karlstadt am Strand. And then at 1 and 2 o'clock that's already Gesmia again. So we, we made it round. Yeah, so some more odd pathing. Why I can't use the entrance to the port proper, I don't know. See another hovercraft, so that's where we want to go as well. That's coming from Lawson. That's probably one of the... Uh, might be the one we, we, we took towards the start of our journey. Ah, we're going around this island. Okay, so this island is screwing with our pathing. You can sort of control ships path, but it's tedious and also with these tons of ships lines that I have, it actually takes a couple seconds till I can place these um, buoys as they are modeled, so I don't bother. And it doesn't even work all the time. So that other one is leaving already and we're docking here at the passenger port and also Freighter leaving. That's a grain bread line, I think. To getting bread from Porto Castelfranco and bringing grain there. Bringing, bringing grain there, not a brain. Okay, so here we are. There's a bus. Let's take that to the station so that we can go truly full circle. And let's see whether our luck holds and we have the rail bus uh, inside when we arrive at the train station. But now that I said it, probably not. But still, I think we have an unbroken video stream since Sleezer, I think. Start of Ohana? No. Yartas, although there was a very short wait. Everything else there was, I think, entirely seamless. And this is not planned, this is simply I started the, the save game when I loaded it, that's the final version, and then I simply played it through. And you can't really plan for that, because there are too many variables in many routes, so buses having to wait for sims that are spawned, etc., so that, that is not plannable. Not really. Okay, exit, and... No, so now we have to wait. Yeah, since I said it, but that's fine. Then let's wait and then f uh, finish the journey where we actually started from so that we have seen the entire coastline uh, of the main continent and then Vianza as well. And there is our final ride for the day. So the sole dual rail bus that runs on Vianza back and forth. Always just enough people that one wouldn't be enough. But these are 
extremely cheap anyway. I think you can you can run them at half full and easily make a profit as you see. So then let's go back to hot chair. Let me go go full circle. What I think I can do for the return journey is uh, say the usual thing um, that I hope, yeah, this was interesting that you've seen the game world from a few new angles uh, that we haven't been before and also for the sort of buses uh, which we haven't uh, frequented that much. Um, and uh, then my personal highlight was the animal grove uh, in North Ohana. I've never seen that happening in game. But apparently that's then what, what happens if you have trains almost everywhere, just a few quiet areas, and I don't think I've ever been in first person up there. So that was unique. So even I have seen something new, despite me having built the whole thing. Um, and otherwise, yeah, see, so it saw a good variety, I think, uh, of cities, of vehicles, uh, lots of traffic. And I think this the whole journey probably gave a good perspective on how vast the map is. It's not the biggest map type in game, that's called Megalomaniac, but you have activated that manually and I suspect if I would have activated that um, I would probably still building the landscape uh, instead of having now uh, actually played the game and not to doing the landscaping. And I think the whole scale works reasonably well. And uh, yeah, so... Um, and. As I keep saying, if you're interested, then there are other uh, special episodes uh, with more train rides, with a flyover, with just following Sims in their cars, uh, a full overview, and you can also download uh, the save game uh, from a thread in the official automation uh, discourse uh, forum, so that you, if you have Transport Fever 2, and it uh, should be pretty cheap these days on sale or something, uh, then you can download it, uh, install a few mods, uh, find the information there as well in that um, thread on this course and then you can experience it uh, for yourself um, and to see what's uh, behind the map uh, in the automation game and maybe where would you place your uh, factories in the fictional game world and what happened in, in certain areas, what's some bits of lore, there's also a game world channel on the official automation discord uh, where then uh, all the uh, a game with aficionados uh, come uh, and share their law or other uh, creations so folks folks doing um, flags uh, for different regions or uh, for different uh, political parties in, in the different city uh, uh, the different countries at different times so uh, there is I think a lot uh, of depth to be to be added to this uh, game world on top of that so we see the first outskirts of Archa, so it means we're almost there, so just behind the tunnel. And yeah, there is the train station, so then all that for me to say is uh, thanks for watching, especially if you made it through the whole video, uh, and not just a selectively selected chapters. And yeah, as I said, if you're interested in the other videos, feel free to grab them from the playlist, also from the previous milestones, so from the 1940s, 1960s, 1980s, or even 1800s, if you like horses and horse carriages, uh, then those save games are for you. Uh, so yeah, with that in mind, uh, and with an emptying uh, rail bus that also has some patina, as I just see, uh, all I can say is then, see you then.